nonsense, but I will actually go and see about the arm at one and try and get a scan. I really want to get that one out. CFQ What the logo one? No, I'll have to show you. There's some other stuff here too. That might happen. Yeah, do that. That's cool. Glad you're back. Endure and embellish immeasurable perspective. It's Carl fucking Quintiliani. <laughs> 3D image. Street art master. This is chill spot behind Starbucks, 9th Avenue, St. Pete, Florida. Quintiliani just went to the store. We don't want to be bothered while we work. Um, Starbucks still open. We'll be moving here shortly. Carl, what are you watching over there, man? Vietnam. Battles. I'm coming up with fucking battle scenes. <laughs> cool. A real nasty battle scene. It's good to see you off the aliens. Huh? It's good to see you off the aliens yeah. for once. So what do we got? Different types of aliens. Notes on them. Mantids, they like praying mantises. They're evil fucks. Um, they can hide their uh, tunnels into the underground bases with holographic images. So you can go right up to them and you never even see them. They turn the holographs off, you'd see the tunnel. You know what I mean? Going right into a mountain. How's your story coming along? The story, the story, I got a lot of shit. I've got to put it in order. I just got notes up the ass. So I feel like I got like 200 pages right. That's cool. And here's some more samurai stuff. What's I don't know if you've seen this. You want to give a description on what it's about? Uh, this stuff? No, these are just samurai stuff. This is from Kill 'em All, so. I haven't put that together. I was talking about the story, the 200 pages. Uh, yeah, hold on a minute. Let me get my mind together. Well, it's it was about nine guys that were in prison that got chosen to go on a space mission, but it's only about one guy. He's the commander, and they frame him for murder. 
but it's really to save his life because everything in the whole universe is trying to kill him. But he can get himself out of prison because he can teleport all by himself. And he has a special spaceship that the aliens made for him that's a live, living thing. And uh, he's the only one that can fly it. It's the Minerva. It goes away and comes back on his will. If it gets uh, damaged in any way, it takes off and heals itself. So that's what I got tonight. Lost one of them? Yeah. It's dark out here. Alright, there's nothing on here. It's a piece like that, only smaller. What's this girl's name? Huh? What's this girl's name? Over here. I, got, I have her in the light. Behind you. Oh, got a couple of guns blazing. Spaceship. Sex slave. In the future. And that's what the uh, aliens do. They uh, steal and is there anything in this? No, that's waiting. I just get that wrapped in plastic so it doesn't get hurt. Backside. Never Hillary. Pretty self explanatory. Here, come on this side, sir. Not in public. I mean, it didn't make that much of a difference. Elves? Yeah. The little story on it? Mm -hmm. Still working on it though. So. Carl's known for having different journals and books, but he's lost many of them. And this one is. Um the story that I'm working on now, and it was originally going to be called The Dozen, but now it's not. It's because it was about 12 men that were going to get picked to go on uh, the Earth's first uh, secret space mission, but it's about one man, his name is Mark Richards, and he was trained from three years old to, uh, to be a pilot. And he, his father was um, an aviator, extraordinaire he was called the Dutchman and he had royal heritage he was known all over the world uh, Winston Churchill knew his father um, his dad was uh, involved in every secret military operation that there ever was um, the Manhattan Project and his son was happened was with him throughout this whole thing so these notes are um, kind of research on um, what uh, this story is about. Now also, Mark Richards, the commander of the Minerva, was given this spaceship by an alien race called the Raptors. Now the Raptors are at war with reptilians. There are some aliens that are good, most are just benign, and some are extremely bad. But the raptors were on this planet before we were, and they consider the Earth their home. But they also consider Mark to be a brother to them. They also consider their father, the Dutchman, to be a very high, honorable person. So they celebrate Mark's birthday every year. The whole race of raptors celebrate his birthday because he is a guidance for Earth alien um, communication and well-being so um, the governments know that uh, aliens are using mass control on the humans they know that uh, 
There's a place called Dragon World. The Dracos come from now. They're reptilian. They are not. They are not the raptors, but they are a different breed. There are like 23 different breeds of greys, but they all fall along the raptoid line. The greys are the smaller aliens, and they are not biological creatures in the sense that they weren't born they were made they were made to fly in space and they were made to do the bidding of the other aliens so the illuminati also uses the alliance with the uh the raptors also hiroshima and nagasaki the two atomic bombs that were dropped on japan those were both alien bases underneath japan and that's why they were dropped on japan it wasn't just to to bomb japan it was to bomb those alien races the i thought it was like retribution for pearl harbor well it was that too the war was going on but americans don't know the real history of what's going on see this is one of the reasons why they put mark in jail is because Mark knows the truth. He knows the truth about, even Vietnam had an alien connection to it that people don't know about. Um, so again, the history is all lies. So uh, the Fukushima disaster a couple years ago in Japan was another alien attack on the human race. They want, the aliens gave us atomic power and we used it to make a bomb. But for the past 60 years, we've been using nuclear power. And what nuclear power has done is raised the temperature of the planet, causing global warming. But that is so the reptilians can feel safer on the surface of this planet. It's too cold for them. They need it to warm up. So they've done this. And our, our leaders have helped them do this. And now we've had 60 years of nuclear power and coal burning and they could have given us zero point energy and that would have solved the problem, but it wouldn't have helped them one bit. The ultimate plan is that the, rep the reptoids, the reptilians want to take over this planet and the raptors are at war with them and they're going to help us. So basically that's what this whole thing is about. This story about one man, Dean Richards, who's uh, in 1980, he was framed for murder he spends 30 years in prison, but the governments don't know that he knows how to teleport without the machines, and he leaves the prison every single night, and he still goes on missions for he, the human race, but he doesn't tell anybody. He's not interested in fame. He does, he's not interested in being a hero. He's just interested in doing what he knows he can do to save the human race. That's cool. I'll have to see how it progresses as you move along with this it. This is probably the best thing I've ever, ever done. And the story is coming together really well. That's the Minerva right here. That's what it looks like. This is a fully alive technical fighting ship that the only person that can fly it is Mark Richards. That's why they didn't kill Mark Richards, because they need him. He's the only... Everyone who's tried to fly this plane has died immediately as soon as they sit, sit in the cockpit. It kills them. But Mark Richards has a telepathic connection to the ship. So, that's the story. And it's called Hard to Kill. That's the new name. Hard to Kill. And he was in uh, many battles with the aliens. He's even been in battles on planet Earth with the aliens that most people don't know about.
fire boost. Carl fucking Quinsley. Endure. Dolly Salvador. How can this be? Fucking Quintiliani. Endure. Measurable perspective. Alien Carl fucking Quintiliani.
protest for the one signature that did survive. Carl Quincy on Carl fucking Quincy on Freaking officially insane. Shame, man. <sighs> Guys lost it. Just can't just see him back anymore, man. This is just snaps so many years out there on the street doing his art.